This is the Creator's Bottle Cutter. It has a scale on the back so that you can cut uh, rings in the same place on a bottle. If you wanted to do consecutive rings on the bottle, you could set it at any one number, then move it to the next number and make your score, and then move it to the next number and make your score. This is the only bottle cutter that has a carbide cutting wheel, which gives you very precise scoring. Also, we have an engineered spring on it that, as soon as it begins its compression, it has four pounds of pressure. We're going to compress that all the way and then tighten the yellow screw and now we're ready to cut a bottle. This is the palm protector. It has a smooth piece of plastic on one side and then on the other side it has a piece of neoprene foam. The palm protector allows the bottle to slide smoothly. Also it keeps any shards of glass from going into your palm from the score. We're now ready to cut a bottle so we're going to place our bottle on the bottle cutter and we're going to make a little mark on the bottle so that we know when we've come around 360 degrees to stop. You do not want to overscore your bottle. Okay, so now we're going to put our palm protector on the bottle and then we're going to release the yellow screw and now our bottle is ready to score so I'm just going to rotate it toward me and it doesn't matter how hard you press down with your palm because that's not what's making the score. The cutting head is making the score because it's at a perfect uh, four pounds of pressure. Okay, now we've come, come completely around. You can see that the score is perfect. It meets, meets at it. There's no spiral. So now we're ready to, make, uh, to cut our score. So we're going to put the bottle there. Then we're going to take a candle and we also have a bucket of ice. What we're going to do is thermal shack the score line. So we're going to light our candle and then we're going to set our timer for 1 minute and 30 seconds of rotation. So we're going to roll the bottle for a minute and 30 seconds and I don't have the flame touching the bottle. The flame is not directly underneath the bottle. If you can see, the flame is about a quarter inch away from the bottle, and I'm slowly turning it, not too slow. You don't want to keep in one spot too long, and just keep that flame about a quarter inch away from the bottle. A beer bottle takes about a minute and 30 seconds. A small wine bottle takes about two minutes to two and a half minutes and a larger wine bottle takes two and a half minutes to three minutes. Uh, your thicker glass, like a champagne bottle, could take three and a half minutes to four and a half minutes of turning it on the flame. If your score does not run the first time after you plunge it into the ice bucket, you can do this a second time, and it should go really good. We're at one minute right now, and we keep turning it, the whole process takes less than two minutes from the time that you start your score to the time that you plunge it into the ice bucket. We're at a minute and 20 seconds so far, so we're going to count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then plunge it into the ice. And that should run the score. We'll keep it in there for about 5 to 10 seconds. And then we'll take it slowly out. And as soon as we can, hold on to the bottom. And there you go. All apart. Very smooth cut, as you can see. Up close, very smooth. It's so smooth that we could put these two back together and fill it with water, and the water would stay in. That's how clean of a cut that you have. So that's... Uh, Bottle Cutting 101 with the Creator's Bottle Cutter.